<laughs> I guess it's perfectly right. And he says something back, he says, Oh, but then shouldn't I check out the blah blah blah? I go, Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but sure, I guess because it ought to have this type. It's just it's like a mileage you got. And he says, yeah, what do you expect? So what do I do? So this is a good reason for having lack of type, even in a type language, because it gives you a workaround. If you know it has that type, you might want to be able to say so. Now, you really only want to say so the type means something. So what we need to do is show you the best of both worlds which is how to be untyped when you want to and typed when you want to, and when you're typed, to be sure that those types are right, even if they came from an untyped world. Sounds too good to be true? Let me show you how it works. And before I go on, I should mention that this is joint work with Robbie Findler from the University of Chicago. And now the other thing I want to do is to motivate this, right? I've talked about how languages can divide us. And this is a problem. So let me remind you of what we can achieve if we can unite our languages and work together. <laughs> I, I was wandering around in the uh, World Museum of Fine Art yesterday, and I came across this lovely illustration of just what we can do if we all work together. We see the advantage here of having a nice, simple system where you can write down the mathematics, where you can get it wrong on your slide and notice it instantly. It's very different from the case where something goes wrong, you see it goes wrong, and you think it's not a fundamental thing, it's just a bug in the composite. We see systems with naive uh, subtyping where it was a bug, it was an error. This is the first time naive subtyping has been used to prove type soundness rather than to introduce type unsoundness. And the reason we can find all that was using Lenin calculus, a very simple mathematical model. We've all seen the proof this morning. We've actually seen a proof. It's very easy when you use Lenin. So when you've got a hard problem to deal with, this is the lesson I'd like to leave with the African community. When you have a hard problem, remember, this is a job. For less than that. So this is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> but you're